What's up guys, welcome to the second episode of Back to Basics. Uh, this episode is going to be about training, uh, what kind of things you should be training, how to structure your training and generally how to fit your training around your lifestyle and how to actually sculpt your physique. The first thing that you need to establish is how much time you have to train. At a minimum, at a minimum guys, you should be training two or three times a week. If you're doing it twice a week, you can do an upper lower body split, that way you can hit all your muscles. If you're doing it three times a week, you can get a push pull legs in there. Optimally, you want to be getting six times a week, in my opinion. That way you can hit everything you want twice a week uh, with a few weak areas put in there as well. So the first thing that you need to do is to analyze yourself front, back and side. Ideally, you want to look at yourself lean. So if you've ever done a competition, if you've ever been really lean, you want to take a look at yourself from the front, from the back and from the side. And you want to look at yourself and think, how do you want to look? What do you want to get bigger? Do you have no upper chest? Do you have no arms? What is on your body is lacking? So for me, as you can see by these pictures, my upper chest is lacking, my shoulders probably aren't as developed as the rest of my body and my arms aren't thick enough, in my opinion. And also, from this back shot, my lower back, my lower back really needs some work. I know it probably wasn't a little bit lean enough, probably wasn't lean enough, but it also needs some muscular development as well. So from that, once you've determined what muscles need to work, that's when you can really start to structure a program. So for me, I go for a push-pull legs, push split. One push session is chest dominant, one push session is shoulder dominant, but both of those I like to hit, both my chest and shoulders. That, that way I get to work my chest and shoulders three times every eight days. With my pull, I hit my rear delts and my traps and my biceps, and on push also I hit triceps. Uh, on my leg days, it's just a straight leg day. Um, as you're seeing right now, this is my workout notes. This is my Evernote. If you guys haven't used this app, it's a great, great app. You can just make notes as you go. Um, and as you can see from my push workouts, they're structured pretty much towards incline. I start off with a big compound movement, a bench press, I hit an incline press, incline flies, few lateral raises and then I go back to incline, incline, incline. Uh, that's because I need to build my upper chest. So there's no point going into the workout, hitting a load of flat bench, hitting a load of decline flies because that's not gonna build your upper chest. It will build your chest as a whole, but if you really wanna specifically bring up one part of your body, you need to hit it more than anything else. In natural athletes, 48 hours, I'll reiterate this over and over again, every 48 hours you should be hitting that muscle. Protein synthesis stops after 48 hours, therefore muscle atrophy starts, so your muscle will start to degrade after 48 hours. So please, if there's one thing you do do, it's hit everything every 48 hours, if possible. Which is why I hit my arms pretty much all the time, my chest all the time, and my shoulders all the time, because I want that thick band across the top just to get maturer, denser, and bigger. As for things like calves and abs, uh, they're very, very small muscles, um, and they need to be trained just like any other muscles. So I'll be hitting my calves and abs pretty much every other day with probably a few days off a week. So I'll probably say three ab sessions and two calf sessions a week or vice versa, um, just to keep those ticking over, keep them bringing up with the rest of my body. If you neglect one part of your body, it will really show when you get, get lean. Maybe not when you're, when you're bulking and you've got a bit more weight to you, but when you're lean, it will all show all the differences, all the imbalances, they will all come out, trust me. Every four weeks, every four to six weeks, I will be changing the training cycle. The exercises will be relatively similar because there's o only so many exercises you can do in this world. Okay, there's lots of different things that can target different parts of the muscle, but overall, my bulking goal is gonna pretty much stay the same, kind of add that thickness to the top band of my body. So arms, chest, shoulders, um, and probably lower back. I will take you through these changes and how I adapt them and how and why I've done them. I will also be showing you how I progress each week. So whether I add a weight each week, whether I add uh, a rep each week, whether I get spotted for two more reps each week, I will explain exactly how I've progressed from the last week. I will leave all of my workout notes in the description boxes. I will leave all of the notes by the exercises in the description box so you know how I feel lifting a certain weight at a certain time on a certain day. You guys can follow me the whole way. The more information you guys give yourself, the better, the better the workouts will be. You'll learn your body, you'll learn how 
you fade through the workout, you'll learn how you're strong at the start or strong at the end. You'll, you'll really learn about where you're best at the workout, where you're progressing, and that way you can really adapt your workouts to what will work for you and you alone. The next episode will probably be a full day of eating, uh, a full day of working out, um, and or just explaining exactly what the next step will be. One more thing guys, calories go up 100 as of now. 100 calories a week, so I'm now on 3,800 calories a week, and I'm gonna get all of those calories from just carbs. I'm not gonna take my protein up, I'm not gonna put my fat up just yet, just carbs at this point. That's it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Please, please, please do like, comment, and subscribe. Um, they really, really help the channel grow, and I really appreciate your support. So, peace, everybody. See you in the next one.